Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video we'll discuss how God of War uses Autodesk Maya to produce animations for its most recent game, Ragnarok. Ragnarok's latest trailer is looking very promising and picking up where the previous 2018's Game of the Year left off. God of War, Morty, the new one! Kratos is a dad, the kid is curious. In this video we'll discuss how these award-winning animations were made with Maya Autodesk using motion capture, how live-action reference footage is used to inspire original acting choices, and lastly, we'll cover the keyframe animation process on how all of these great animations are put together. Sony Santa Monica's animation and cinematics process resembles other top-notch studio workflows such as Naughty Dog, where live-action video is shot for rough layout and camera planning. That video footage can then be roughed out in Autodesk Maya for game engine implementation. Since the process of animation and layout can take weeks or even months, Working with live action footage is a much quicker way to visually test if shots flow together before spending the time, money, and manpower to create the scenes with actual game assets. The live action footage can include interaction with props, environments, and even getting on their knees to simulate actor eyelines and camera staging accuracy. God of War Cinematics implemented a no-cut camera technique which created a seamless storyline delivery of over 100 cinematics throughout the game. And we can be sure to expect that and more with Ragnarok. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Klaus Creatives. They offer a top ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create God of War's animation. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. An article was published recently that stated a lot of animations were being reused for the new God of War Ragnarok that was similar to the animations that were used in the 2018 version of God of War. Here's that footage that was featured in the article on the animation being reused. It's a great catch and it's also fun to kind of see how these animations are reused with new assets and how they come together at the final end product. Of course, reusing animation is nothing new. Disney's been doing it for decades, and I personally don't think there's too much to worry about in this situation. It cuts down some of the reworking time, and there's no sense to completely make an animation that's already working. This is a common practice, and since the animations were of such high quality, it made a lot of sense that there would be some animations that would be utilized and reused so that other time could be spent to create even more impressive animations, adding to what was already a strong foundational performance and animations from the God of War series that was Game of the Year in 2018. Ah, oh uh, finally, the Leviathan Axe and other unannounced upgrades. For scenes that could not be motion captured, such as aerial and acrobatic sequences, animation needed to be hand keyed with Maya. Mixing this with live action previs allows for a nice mix of visual planning for an engaging gamer experience. For most acting cinematics, planning with the live action reference for timing saves a lot of reiteration time when the scenes are shot with mocap, utilizing the game asset characters. Vicon was utilized to motion capture the actors on stage, and that footage would then be imported to Motion Builder, where it could then be cleaned up and polished with Maya. Your Mac friend, Brent Rambo. Like most AAA games, God of War utilizes motion capture for not only the characters but the cameras to give a cinematic look and feel to the storyline. Layout is an early process where motion is roughed in and cameras are close to finalization. By utilizing motion capture as opposed to keyframe layout, it allows a much faster turnaround time for the directors and animators to visualize the scene before the final animation is created. Motion capture allows directors to quickly see if shots are going to work visually and changes can be implemented much more quickly. For shots where motion capture is not possible, traditional keyframe animation is utilized to rough in the shots where they can then be finalized by the animator. Creatures often need to be hand keyed and animated to convey the correct weight and believability, whereas motion capture would limit this performance. Motion capture is shot on a stage utilizing actors. The quality of their performance is critical, so there's a pool of actors for motion capture acting just like there are actors in Hollywood. It takes talent to give strong performances even for games. Some games even will have top name actors perform their motion capture movements. Simulating the props and how the actors might be off balance for certain moments 
are not only critical for the mocap to be captured realistically, but it also allows visual reference for the animator to make a much more believable performance for the final shot. Cameras are also done with motion capture, and when the actors are performing, monitors can visually show the director what the entire scene looks like with the game assets. This whole process cuts down a ton of time versus if everything were done hand keyed one step at a time. The PS3 versus the PS4 and PS5 Kratos went through a complete rehaul. For the 2018 version of God of War, the mesh and rig were completely rehauled. The original version of Kratos was much more exaggerated and stylized and had a completely different proportion to what is being used in the more photorealistic refresh of Kratos being used in the latest franchise iterations. This allowed the entire game to feel a lot more photoreal and gave a higher ended graphical element to the IP. God of War uses a very similar motion capture workflow to that of Naughty Dog's Last of Us and Uncharted series. Motion capture is stitched and compiled with Motion Builder, or otherwise known as Mobu. Motion Builder is much more user friendly when it comes to dealing with motion capture versus Autodesk Maya. However, for keyframe and animation polish, Motion Builder is far from an ideal software. So tools were created to import the Motion Builder data to the Maya version of the assets where all of the motion can then be cleaned up and finalized by the animators for the final versions of the game. To speed up iteration time for Motion Builder and Maya, different levels of character meshes are utilized. This allows artists to work with a much more efficient mesh during the animation process. When roughing in rough movements, a stripped down mesh will run a lot quicker in software allowing iterations to be made much more quickly. When the animation is closer to final, animators will work with a much higher resolution poly character called a deformation mesh, which will have better skinning for finer details which are necessary during the polish phase. With the PS4 and PS5, the in-game character and the cinematic character are the same, whereas previously in PS3 games and earlier, different quality meshes were necessary for in-game and cinematic moments in the game to run efficiently. This means you'll get the same great looking characters for every moment in the game. As important as motion capture for the body is, facial motion capture is equally as important and can be equally as complex, especially with more photorealistic human meshes. Fax is utilized for facial motion capture animation, which was then transferred to a blend shape rig for animators to clean up and provide finishing touches to make the performance as believable as possible. We have a lot of students who ask us why Maya is important to learn in the game creation process. We get a lot of questions if Blender can be used just as easily for AAA production as standardized industry software such as Maya, and we hope that this video sheds some light on why Maya has become the industry standard for game production. One last thing, if you had dreams of working on the next God of War or whichever game Sony Santa Monica may be developing next, you want to brush up on those animation and Maya skill sets, as they typically will require an animation test with, you guessed it, Maya. So although Blender and other programs are becoming more and more powerful, Maya still is a cornerstone to creating these AAA franchises. Of course, it always comes down to how great your animation is on your reel and not the tools you utilize, but it's important to keep in mind why certain tools are utilized in production. That about wraps up this video on how God of War through the years utilizes Autodesk Maya and why it's an important integral piece to the AAA animation game creation process. There's been no real change to this workflow over the past several decades and its use is still prominent today. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the franchise over time, how it has evolved, and how all these AAA masterpieces are created. The newest entry in the series looks better than ever. Will you be playing on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!